And it came to pass by the way in the inn that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son. Then Zipporah took a sharp stone, took a sharp stone, took a sharp stone, and cut off the foreskin of her son. Shalom, Mubaraka, Mishpaka, peace and blessings, family. And I just want to tell you guys, first and foremost, this video is going to be quite short because, you know, I'm going to get right to the point, pun intended. As you can see, this is a map with a whole bunch of numbers on it. This is a map of the obsidian distribution around the world. Right here is another one. As you can see, the dot as, as showed by the map key at the bottom shows obsidian sources, places where obsidian stone can be found in its natural environment. But let's go back to this map. As you can see, what place on earth has the most obsidian? Obviously, Western North America, the true holy land. And let me tell you guys something. Obsidian is the sharpest material on earth. When sharpened, it's 500 times sharper than the sharpest steel knife. All right, you have to understand, 500 times sharper than steel, guys. It's sharper than glass. It is glass. It's volcanic glass. And all you have to do is crack a, a obsidian rock, and it will slice through the toughest skin, muscle, uh, plant matter, whatever. Whatever the opponent, except for like bone or something of that nature, it will cut through it. It will scratch bone, trust me, it will. But let me tell you something. Obsidian is the, is the same sharp stone mentioned in Exodus. Now, I want you guys to, to look at these numbers, man. Look at these numbers. And when you look in the other side of the world, the highest number you got is 55, man. But then when you look in the Americas, man, you literally got six times that number in one given area. But when we look in the Levant and Saudi Arabia, well, 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 what do we see here? A big fat zero. Boom. In fact, this stone could not be found in the Middle East. So what's going on, you know? Well, you might say, well, it's not really a fact that they use obsidian to cut the foreskin. I mean, technically, it kind of is. Because if you're going to use a rock to sever off a member of the body, that rock must have a crystalline atomic structure. A crystalline atomic structure means that the atoms are arranged in a purely geometric pattern. This allows for broken pieces of the rock to form cutting edges that are extremely sharp. Pretty much everything in the crystal family can cut through flesh. However, most crystals are too difficult to break and don't come in sizes as large as obsidian rocks. But obsidian rocks, they're large enough to make a knife with and also they're soft enough to break and sharper than just about any other crystal that there is. If you're gonna use a sharp stone to actually cut off a part of the body, you're gonna have to use something that has razor sharpness. If you pick up a piece of, of regular rock, it's going to take quite difficulty to cut off a foreskin. It's possible. Yes, it's possible. But it's going to take a bit of difficulty and time. But with obsidian, all you have to literally do is touch any type of material and it cuts it straight off. An obsidian knife is extremely easy to make. All you have to do is go up to an obsidian stone and drop it to the ground. It'll break into these shards of extremely sharp glass. Obsidian is incredibly, insanely sharp. So, especially if you're not used to working with it, but probably under every other circumstance, you should probably be wearing some protective gear. Oh, that's a good one right there. And you have to be very careful because people actually shred their fingers just by picking these things up. 
so you have to handle them with care and you hold them on the dual sides of it and you can just touch your touch some skin with just a little bit of force and guess what it's ripping it all the way off and that's not found anywhere else in high high amounts except for western north america come on guys this evidence is 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 really 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 overwhelming this is probably my 5,000th piece of evidence that, you know, the holy biblical land is indeed in the Americas and specifically Western North America. And, you know, I mean, God damn. I mean, you can check out my other videos if you want to learn more. Uh, if you think this, if you think this is still a theory, if you don't believe it, then go ahead and watch my migration series. Or go to my playlist called Holy Land in the Americas and you will learn more. You can find every single one of my videos that explain in detail how the Holy Land is indeed in the Americas. With just a flake. This is just the one hit raw flake that came off the obsidian blade. You be very careful when you touch here. I used the whetstone and ground on the edge so I could grab it, but I've not touched here and it's just the raw edge. With a tool like that, all you need to do is touch and it'll cut through leather. I don't really have to saw any, almost just a touch, it pushes through it. Here's an example of a smaller, more refined blade, cutting the leather with just a push at the start. I've slowed this down a little bit so that you can see that cutting motion. A blade this fine would come from a more prepared core with a better edge geometry. Test obsidian blade. See how it cuts through motherfucking meat. Cuts like through butter, man. Guys, I'm gonna be real. This video stuff getting old. We are hands on learners as a people. So guess what? That's why I'm going to lead an expedition out to the Holy Land. And me and my men will dig for our true artifacts. And we will show the world the truth. The age of exploration is not over. It has just begun. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm going to be the next Christopher Columbus or Indiana Jones because I will discover something that has already been known. I will uncover the wealth that was left by the children of Yahuwah, and I will prove that beneath the thousands of dusty hills of Utah, Nevada, and California lies tons and tons of shekels of gold, silver, candles, beaten work of all kinds of ornamentation and pottery. I will, re I will reveal the papyrus left in the caves and the tablets of cuneiform throughout the valleys of the holy land and i will show you guys that just beneath the hills of utah where the wind has accumulated tons of dust over the last 1800 years that there are remains of ancient architecture that they do not want to show us If you would like to fund the expedition, because I cannot do this if I'm still broke, then you may as well click the link that you see in the description and in the pinned comment. And when you click the link in the description, not only are you funding this expedition, but you will also enter into a rabbit hole that you won't want to come out of because you're going to be hit in the face with so much knowledge that you will love it. I know a lot of you guys still eat fast food. Don't lie. And if you guys are paying $10 a week to destroy your body, you can at least pay $5 a month to build your mind. So if you don't mind, click the link and you will be in the gold mine of knowledge and resources. Not only that, but I'm teaching Paleo Hebrew and you get a coupon for the website where I sell holistic herbs, soaps and teas.